Uh, okay, guys. In yesterday class, we have discussed about a few scripting tool examples. In today class, also we are going to discuss about few scripting tool examples. Okay. So seventh one, you can see populate employee data by using JSON. Populate employee data by using JSON. So by using JSON object, we have to populate the employee data. Okay. Yes. Now I'm going to my parent table. So whatever the client scripts yesterday we have created for the same functionality, I will deactivate it and uh, today we will create new client script. Configure client scripts. Employee data falls. The duration. I'm making all of that. Okay, fine. Here it's already deactivated yesterday's uh, client script. Now I'm going to script include. Yes, under system definition, we have script include. Okay. So I'm opening existing scripting to my parent table. Okay. So here I'm writing get I'm saying like this my math of my function I'm get employee info function okay get employee info so here we know the function name and we also know the trip name uh, uh, scripting tool name. So I'm writing client script directly here. Okay. Yes. So if I type all type I'm selecting on change on employee field. Okay, on change on employee field. So then come here. I'm removing this. First of all, I'm getting uh, var emp equal to g underscore form dot get value of okay u underscore employee u underscore employee okay. So we know that uh, scripting to name and function name directly. I'm declaring gladiax. No, gladiax of scripting to name. My parent utility. So I'm copying it and pasting here. Next to GA dot add paramount. This spam underscore name comma function name. So name comma function name. We get employee info. GA dot add paramount this spam underscore EMP comma EMP. Okay. Yeah. GA dot get XML of get EMP info. I'm saying like this. Okay. Copying it, I'm declaring function function. Response where result equal to RESPO MSC that RESPO C XML dot document LEMP dot get attribute of 
we are discussing about single regard so that's why i'm writing it okay yeah that next so here we are uh, doing this example with the json object so here i'm declaring empty json data equal to okay now you can come here data dot data dot email equal to data dot email equal to gia dot email dot to string so here we have to convert everything to string okay data dot phone equal to gia dot okay mobile mobile underscore phone dot to string data dot manager equal to gr dot a to string data dot location equal to gr dot location dot to strin to string okay yes now i have injected email phone manager location uh, details to data object here now we have to encode this data object data equal to new new global dot json dot encode of of data okay so finally returning data one minute So I'm saving this scripting tool first of all. So you can see, you scroll down. So I will also format this code. I will save it. Here the logic is seen uh, how yesterday we did. So the only thing is yesterday uh, we did using arrays. Today we are doing with JSON. Okay. Yes. Now I'm coming to the client script. Now here we have to pass this uh, result. Result equal to JSON dot and JSON dot parse of JSON dot parse of result. Okay, yes, and that pass of result. So here you can see now we have to set the value g underscore form dot set value of u underscore comma result dot. Okay, result dot. So one minute I'm copying this four times or four fields. Four. Okay. You wonder you store email you underscore phone you underscore manager you underscore location okay yes perfect now here you can see result dot manager sorry result dot email so result dot phone 
So here you can see we have used the object called phone. Result dot phone. Like result dot manager. Okay. Result dot location. So here bringing that JSON objects, uh, JSON objects here, and email, phone, manager, location. Okay, so we have completed. Now I'm saving this client script. First of all, we will check how it is working. Okay, my parent. I'm clicking on new button. Yes. Right. The data is populating or not? Perfectly, it is populating. Now I'm saying I'm user, for example. Right. So you can say Anji user data is populated automatically. Okay, any queries with this example? This example is very, very important example in real time. Okay. So we have discussed the same example with the string format, with the array format. Now we are discussing with the JSON format. So instead of those two formats, the string format is very, very important one. Okay. Yes, any queries, please let me know. String like Marshall Anji, sir. Yes, you have to uh, convert it into the string here, definitely. Because of we don't know which kind of, uh, which type of data object we will get here. Okay, that's why we have to convert to string. Every value, okay? If you are not converted to string, so we will not get the data properly. Any queries here, please tell me. So I'm copying this to notepad. Mark JSON lay a data type may not populate just the condition. Yes, it will populate. Uh, so actually, here is one minute. I will copy and I will explain you at a no. So basically, here the issue is so for example, so here. We are talking about email field. We don't know which data type, which type of data we get here. Mobile phone, it is the different type of data object. Okay. Manager, it is a reference field and it is a different type of data value, different type of value. This is also like that only. Okay, so if we are not converted while encoding the while encoding this data, it will not take out with the different data types. Okay, in the JSON. Got it what I'm saying? Okay, uh, when, I, when I will practice, I, I will get Yeah, yeah. so while you practicing, you can also try without using this two string. Yeah, it yeah. Will, it will not it's work okay. out, okay? It will not work. Yeah. Yes. Next example. So you can see, I'm going to next example. Eight one. Populate employee data by using JSON with the synchronous cloud data. Populate employee data by using JSON with the synchronous Glidera. Till now, all the Glidera examples we did the synchronous Glidera. Now we have to do synchronous Glidera example with the same JSON. Okay. So here we don't require to, uh, here we don't require to change any logic as of now. So, so we have small changes only. Now you can see, guys, I'm copying this uh, get employee info. I will paste it again. And I will use the second function, okay? So my and my function and get employee information. Okay. This this if you want to write here, I'm changing something, I'm changing. So here I have declared some empty JSON and I use that JSON here, right? So instead of that, I will declare JSON here. One, I will declare JSON directly here where data equal to, okay? So here I'm declaring this JSON directly. Okay, control X. Okay, we can also write like this. One minute, email.
you can also write like this okay one minute once i change the code maybe we are able to see the logic perfectly this is another way of writing json here okay so that's why i'm showing in the different function now i'm formatting the code again so here you can see we can also do like this so but here we have comma separator Okay, got it everyone we can also declare like this everyone got it so here we have semicolon finally for this state object everybody got it how i have declared json uh compare with previously previous example yes or no please tell me guys yes sir. okay if you want to declare json like this this is also nice format okay so basically this is looks good this looks good actually this code looks good next i'm going to client script so i'm going to use same client script here so here function name got changed right i'm copying it so i will take new client script that is better saving it Yes. So I will take new one in certain state. Okay. Yes. Now you can see here we have to change the function name. So get employee information. Okay. Then so from here, here we have to change it to get XML weight. XML weight. Okay, get XML weight. We don't require any callback function here. So it is a synchronous class, that's okay. A var result equal to var result equal to ga dot get answer. NSW get answer. Okay. Var result equal to ga dot get answer. Yes. We don't now we don't require all these things. It is a synchronous class. Okay, got it, everyone. So this is synchronous Gradex example. Any queries here, please let me know. This is a synchronous Gradex example. Any queries, please let me know. So now I'm going to try this, how, how it is working and all. Okay, I'm refreshing it first of all. So you can see data is populating fine. So maybe I will select a show user. Yes, that a show data is populated. Okay, perfect. Uh, any queries with this example, please let me know. I'm copying it and pasting here. So synchronous class. Copying it and pasting here. Yes, if you have any queries with this example, please let me know. You can see the logic for one or two minutes. Okay. No queries? Okay, fine. Next time I'm going to advance reference qualifier example. Guys, I don't know why you guys are all are in silent mode. So are you able to understand or not? So these examples, please let me know. So if you are responding, so maybe we'll discuss more actively. Otherwise, whatever the examples in my mind, only discussing that one. So please don't keep silent. Maybe so if you if you keep silent so it may be sleepy or it may be uh i have confusion whether you are you guys are sleeping or 
you are listening to the classes okay please try to understand and please speak out in the sections then only you will get uh, more knowledge on the subject okay thank you so next you can say advanced reference qualifier example i'm going to my parent table configure form layout first of all i'm going to my parent table configure form layout okay yes no yes now you can see here here i'm going to create a two fields here i'm going to create a two fields for example assignment group right 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 assignment group i'm taking reference what is the reference table for assignment group field yes tell me this underscore user underscore group underscore user underscore group okay next assign to reference this underscore user okay Uh, so maybe I will do one thing. I will keep here. Okay. I'm saving it. Right. So I'm also my explanation is completed and I'm deactivating this price to do. Okay. Yes. I'm closing it. I'm closing it. Close it. Now you can see, guys. Now you can see I have created two assignments. Too. First of all, we can go to the instant table. First of all, we can go to the instant table. Okay. Yes. We can open any instant. Create new. Right. It's yours. Now you can see in the assignment group, I'm saying hardware, for example. When I select hardware, we are able to see only hardware related data. SR, yes, this is hardware related data. For example, when I select network, we are able to see only network related users in the assignment group. SR, no. Yes, we are able to see like. So basically, how this functionality working here based upon the uh, dependent field so assignment group is assigned to is dependent on the assignment group so you can see i'm going to configuration dictionary i'm going to configuration dictionary and in the dependent field we have assignment group here okay the dependent field we have assignment group. based upon that that functionality is working here okay yes here you can see uh no dependent so here can assignment group is the dependent for the assigned to okay now i want to do same functionality with reference qualifier okay if it is a dependent if we given the dependent yes exactly we're getting the values fine so if we want to add more filter conditions okay we, we have to use advanced reference qualifier okay now i'm going to scripting to so advanced reference qualifier is a server side scripting only. Okay. I'm going to script include. So under system definition, we have script includes. So maybe in my parent tutorial only, I'm creating advanced reference qualifier. Okay. Yeah. You can come here. So like here I'm saying get assigned to. Okay, get assigned to function. Where group equal to where group equal to current to dot. So as a advanced of first qualifier is server side programming, script include is also server side programming. That's why I'm using current dot current to dot u underscore assignment underscore group. Okay, current where group equal to current to dot u underscore assignment group. 
where now we know the group suicide id can we get the, that group users or not yes we can able to get the, that group user users so what is the relationship table for user add group what is the relationship table for user add group sys underscore user has underscore group no sys underscore user underscore gr member okay mm -hmm. that is the table yes equal to new glad record of This underscore user underscore gr and me and three and gr number okay gr dot add query of now we know the group society now that's why I'm filtering group comma group in double quotes group is a column name so here here the variable group is a society of that particular group okay now I'm saying gr dot query here we don't know how many records we will get. That's why I'm using while loop. Okay. While. GR dot next. GR dot next. Now here you can see here we required some array where data equal to empty array and declaring. Now here you can come. What we have to push here? User societies. Okay. Data dot push off. Data dot push off. GR dot get value of get value of use we have to bring user society here okay next we have to return this we have to return this return we have to return this data array like filter condition okay that's why i'm filtering like this where society return society plus i'm also using operator in plus array data dot join data dot join i'm joining each and every user society with comma separator okay got it everyone yes this is the advanced reference for their code i'm formatting this code now uh, okay everybody got it what i have written return society in data okay society in data array i'm separating each and every society with comma separator Okay, got it, everyone. So, advanced reference, advanced reference qualifier said how to write this code. Like, wait, in the comment itself, here I'm writing. Mm, wait, JavaScript colon. I have to write like this. New script include name that function name. What is function and get assigned to? We have to write like this. Okay, got it, everyone. SR one. Any queries uh, with this uh, ad advanced reference qualifier code? Please let me know. So I'm copying this one. Uh, sir, uh, wh what will uh, data dot push gr get value will do? Uh... Yeah, so basically here we are pushing the user societies uh, from this group to data array. Okay. Data dot push is used to add elements to array. Add elements to data array. What are the user societies we have with this particular group? We are adding all those societies to data array. Okay, then after we are returning, it's like filter condition. We are returning as filter condition. Okay. 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 Fine. Now I'm saving this scripting group. Now you can see, for example, in the assignment group, I'm 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 adding service now. Administrator. Now you can see the assignment how many users are coming. How many users are coming? Almost 654. Once you did assign advanced sequence qualifier, you will not get like this. Okay. I'm going to assign configuration dictionary. Now, wait it there. You can click on advanced mode. Okay, here you can select advanced reference, user reference call for advanced. Okay. JavaScript colon new script to include name dot function name. Okay. I'm updating it. 
we have to select the, the reference call for is at once one minute it is open scripting code again i will open my page so everybody seen what i have given there not my parent my parent only everybody seen what i have given in advanced reference call for script again i'm moving the form configuration dictionary So here you can see I have given code like this. So reference qualifier I selected as an advanced and reference qualifier I have given like this Java script code and new scripting code name that function name. Okay. Yes. Now we can come and check how it is working. Now you can see service now administrator administration. Now you can see how many users will appear here. How many users are appearing? Only two users. For example. Service now testing maybe developer. So you can see here also we will get only two users, Rahul and Rani. For example, I will select software group. So we will get only software group numbers. Got it, everyone? Yes or no? Advanced reference qualifier code is also very, very important code. Okay, advanced reference qualifier code is also a very very important code so till now if you have any queries please let me know guys so almost we have completed uh, scripting two examples so i will copy the logic here so then we will start with the by actions if we don't have any queries if you have any queries please ask me we will discuss here This is this is this logic we have. Wait. This logic we have to provide in advance of one part of the report. Okay. Uh, any queries, please let me know. So this logic in the last line uh, will be used to call uh, the same uh, function. Yes. Okay. Yes, it will call the same function. So you can see that my parent will use the script include and get as and is our function. Okay, got it. Yes. Next, I'm going to by action. Sorry. Next, I'm going to by actions. I'm going to next concept called UI actions. So basically, UI actions are used, used to submit. So UI actions should be, it should be a button, it should be a link, it should be a form context menu, or it should be a list context menu item. Got it? So UI action is a buttons, links, context menus. By using UI actions, you can able to create forms, buttons, a context menu sorry by using a way action you can able to create links buttons and context menus okay we'll note down everything so i'm going to docs definition here i'm closing all the tabs guys most of the script from the development we have covered till now the very very important concepts are from the development till i have completed client scripts business rules scripting clues okay, from that yes client script business rules scripting clues and from that the glide apis important glide apis are glide form glide record glide system glide ajax okay these are the very very important one so even sometimes what happens is in the interviews they will ask you to share your screen and they they will give you some use case Mostly they will give you the example, they will give you the query with glide record operation or glide ajax or by using glide form only. Okay. So please try to learn perfectly. So even whatever the glide APIs we have used within these three concepts, same, same APIs will use for entire development. Same APIs will use for entire development. Okay. It is very, very important. Please learn perfectly. 
okay even if you go go to the interviews sometimes they will ask you to write some script okay, you have to practice it yes ui action what is ui action ui action is a yes tell me indak man use chesina akkada manu advanced reference call for it chesam yes अदे प्लेस मन फिल्टरमेंट इन Uh, from the script include side, you have to filter the data. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So here you can see UI actions include the buttons, links, and context menu items on the forms and list. Configure UI actions to make the UI more interactive, customized, and specific to user activities. Okay. UI actions include the buttons, links, and context menu items on the forms and list. configure ui actions to make the ui more interactive customized and specific to user activities okay yes i'm copying this ui actions definition next so ui action means it should be a form it may be a button on the form or list it may be a related link on the form or list it may be a context menu on the form or list okay yes we can by using uh, by configuring the ui action so we can able to make uh, form uh, ui more interactive customized and specific to the user activities okay yes next what are the things we can able to do by using ui action so you can see you can create ui actions to provide any of these feature a button on a form a context menu on a form that appears when you open the form context menu or right click on the form header a related link a button in the ba banner on top of list a button at the bottom of a list a context menu item on a list that appears when you open the list context menu next a menu item for the action choice list okay these all are things we can able to do by using ui actions i will also note down this next so i'm copying this url basically okay so here you can see they mention form button how the form button is even how the context menu is they have mentioned uh, the screenshots here okay you can go to this i'm copying this url next i am also opening uh, uh, another url Creative way action, okay. Creative way action. I will also copy this URL to Notepad. So you can see if you go to creative way action. So here they will tell you each and every field definition. Okay. Yes. Copy and paste in here. Okay. I'm saving it. Next here you can see. Then scroll down. Next, what is the navigation here? What is the navigation here? So under system definition, we have UI action. Okay, under system definition, we have UI action. We will see that navigation also. UI action. Okay, under system definition. We have the actions. You can open it. Yes. The system definition have the action. What is the table name for the actions? This underscore the underscore action. Okay, we'll see that. This underscore the underscore action. I'm copying it. Okay, and I'm pasting here. This is a UI action table name. And so basically, guys, by default, UI action accepts a server side programming. Okay, by default, UI actions accepts a server side programming. 
UI actually is a server side program. Okay, by default, UI action accepts server side programming. Okay. So in uh, I will open one new way action form here. Okay, I will open new way action form here. So here you can see we have client. So in the in the way action form we have client. Okay, in the way action form we have client. If we make client to true in the way action, if we make client to true, it will accept client side programming. Okay, if we make client to true, it will accept client side programming. I will also know that if we make client to true, if we make client to true, it will accept client side programming. Okay. So for example, yes, now we know if we make client to true, we can able to write the client side programming. By default, it will accept server side programming. For example, if I want to execute both client side programming and server side program, what I have to do, I have to use both the script in the same with the GSFT submit syntax. Okay. We want to execute client side programming and server side programming at a time. We have to use a GSFT submit syntax. Okay. I will also note down this part. Execute client side programming. And server side programming. Server side programming. At the time, we have to use GSFT UB meet sub. GSFT submit syntax. SYN tax syntax. Okay. Got it, everyone? SRN. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Next, I will go. I will go to few in the interviews. We will get in the interviews. We will get few questions. Okay. Uh, I will note down these questions. First of all, what is GSFT submit syntax? Okay. Next. What is uh yes uh, one minute guys I hope before after while doing the examples we can do these questions because uh, we have to note down the syntaxes and all right next I'm going to examples okay now you can come here uh I'm create so one minute. Here I'm I'm I went to the UI action. I went to UI action. Okay. So here I'm creating UI action on. Here I'm creating UI action on my parent table only. Okay. Yeah. So I'm saying here, click me. Here I'm saying click me. My button name is click me. I want form button. I want it as context menu. I want it as form link. I want it as banner button, banner list bottom button. Context menu, list to choice, listing. I want everywhere this click me option. Okay. Yes. So by default, the way actually is a server side program. You can come here and you can write, I'm saying something GS dot add info message off. Add info message off. Click me. I'm writing something here. Click me. Okay. Got it, everyone. I'm saving it. We have successfully created click me button on the my parent table. Now where you can go to the my parent table. So you can see wherever you can open. So you can see click me button here available. Click me button here available. Even you can go to the list choice section. We have click me button. Yes, here also we have click me button. So click me button. Somewhere we can see click me button. Here we don't have click me button. Maybe one minute. So you can see. 
so here you can so we have click me button okay wherever we have form form header button form bottom button form uh, sorry list banner button list bottom button list choice action list context man. we have click me button now i am opening the new form okay now i am opening the new form so here you can see form header button form bottom button related link related link and form context man. form context man. one minute in the list also we have to display that related link it is appearing or not yes here you can see in the list also it is appearing related link okay got it everyone yes so basically if you want to change the colors of those buttons so here we have form style so for example now i want to change the colors in form primary color i'm selecting i think it is blue color only blue or green if it is primary blue or green so you can come and refresh here you can see the color of a button it is show in the form level guys in the form level now when we select primary it came as blue okay now i'm selecting destructive this means it you will get this in the red color you will get this in the red color that button you can come and refresh here yes okay undistrict uh, unstyled uh, it will show as normal empty okay it will show normal we select understand okay you can see it is showing now okay uh, now i'm going to list styles you can see list styles are already showing blue color now if we select district to in the list buttons will appear in the red color okay got it everyone any queries till now yes any queries no that's fine now i'm refreshing this form again now i'm trying to click on click me button now you can see what happened it is appearing or not click me message but finally it is redirected to previous page that's fine okay wait refresh it now you can see click me yes it is we are getting the message or not tell me guys we are getting click me message or not yes sir Randy, sir okay we are we are getting click me message we can note down it i will copy this and uh, i will keep it in the notepad in it only server side programming programming okay so we have to write only client side programming example we'll do now programming okay yes now you can come here now i want to execute this on uh, on client side programming that's why i'm keeping client to true okay so here i'm writing uh, something like function i'm writing function <laughs> click me function click me simply i'm writing alert click me okay so simply i'm writing on alert message and we have to call this function to here okay uh, on click we have to call this function to here so here you can see if it is a client side programming we made client to true here we made client to true here and on click click me i have added click me and i have declared function here and i'm saving it okay You can come here where is the or my parent table you can come here and you can click me on any click me button coming or not alert message yes it is coming even if you go to any form and you can click it will appear okay click me coming alert message okay got it everyone now you can see i'm copying this logic to notepad copy so we have to call this call by function also next next uh anji i have one doubt yes okay. can 
can we change that click me button position in form yes it will come automatically no no we can, if you want we can able to change by using order you know right it is related to sequence okay based upon order you give it, the buttons will appear okay well, got it yes okay got it yes now my next example is uh execute both i'm saying both client side server side programming okay both client side and server side programming i'm saving it now i want to use client side programming and server side programming both okay yes you can see yes i'm keeping click me so if you want to use client side programming and server side programming at a time into the UI action, you have to use GSFT suffix in there. GSFT. You be GSFT submit of null comma null comma so g underscore form dot get g underscore form dot get form element g underscore form dot get form E L E M E and get form element, comma action name. So here we have to declare a action name. So maybe I'm saying action name is click me. C L I, click, click underscore me. This is a, the action name I'm giving. I'm copying it. Sorry, I'm copying it and pasting here. Okay, got it, everyone. Yes or no? Yes. Immediately, if type of window equal to equal to undefined. Type of window equal to equal to undefined. Okay, so here you have to write a server side programming. For example, you can say gs start add info message or I will tell you executing server side programming. Okay. For example, here I will write executing client side programming. Client side programming. Got it, everyone? Yes or no? Now this will execute both client side and server side programming. Okay. Any queries here? Please let me know. So here you get one new syntax that is GSFT submit. Okay. Now I'm going to parent my parent table and I'm refreshing the form first of all. I'm clicking on click me button. So you can see executing client side programming. Now it will execute the server side programming. You can see we are getting the message. Got it, everyone? Yes or no? Server side programming yeah. always execute on the submission only. That's why it is read. Uh, that's why it is submitting the form and it is redirecting to some other previous page. Okay. Any queries here? Tell me. I'm copying it and I'm pasting here. Any queries here, please let me know. Now I'm writing some questions. Now I'm writing some questions here. Okay. First one What is GSFT submit syntax? What is GSFT submit syntax. Okay. Yes. This this is the GSFT submit syntax. I'm copying it. So I'm pasting here. So here instead of click me, I'm saying action name. Okay. For your reference. Next. What is null in? GSFT submit. What is null in GSFT submit? Null is a form control. Null is a form control. Okay. Form C O N T R O N. If anyone will ask what is null, null is a form control. You have to say like that. Next.
Okay. Now these questions is fine. Next. I'm saving it. In interviews, they will ask one more question. So, where exactly we have to place GS of T submit syntax? Where exactly we have to place GS of T submit syntax? So, you have to place GS of T submit syntax at the end of the client side, at the end of the client side program. For example, you can say I'm keeping this GS of T submit syntax, the starting of the client side program. You can see what happens now. It will not execute, obviously. It will not execute the server side programming. Okay. Why? Because of I have more that JSRT submit syntax to starting of the farm. Now you can see yes, it is working fine. Wait, wait. One minute. So here it is executed. Here it is executed. But this JSRT submit syntax always you have to provide at the end of the client side programming okay at the function end we can say at the client side programming function end only have to provide so here we have only single line code single line code and it is working fine so maybe if you have large lo large number of uh, lines of code we have at that time it will definitely not work okay so you have to always we have to provide the at the end of the form only now you can see whenever we are executing this on click box click me button it is redirecting to previous page now i don't want to redirect this to previous page now i don't want to redirect it to previous page okay how to achieve that use case how to achieve that use case okay you can see action dot set redirect url we have to use action dot set redirect url in the server set program, you can say action dot set read redirect URL. Okay, we have to use this one. I'm saying current. So I'm saying you can redirect to current form only. I'm saying like that. And I'm, I'm saving it. You can come here and you can refresh here. Now you can see even if you click on this button, it will come to this pa this page only. It will not redirect to previous page. Now you can see it is reloading and it is coming to the same page. Yes or no? It is coming to same page or not? Yes, it is coming to same page. Okay. Yes. I'm copying it and I'm pasting here. Next, for example. Uh, instead of redirecting to current page, I want to redirect to the maybe new instant form. I want to redirect to new instant form. Okay. Yes, we can also do that one now. <coughs> okay, I'm copying this. I'm copying this from URL. Uh, guys, while doing uh, examples on client script, I haven't. Uh, a deactivated uh, some client scripts here that's why i'm every time i'm getting that alert message so display comments i will deactivate it false this also i'm stopping okay this is we, we, we will return perfect now you can see whenever this whenever we have clicked on this UI action we have to redirect to instant form for example I'm copying it. I'm commenting it. Now we can come. Action dot set redirect URL. Set redirect URL. Or URL you have to mention here. Okay. Now I have mentioned instant dot do question mark suicide equal to minus one. Now you can see I'm saving it. Whenever you, you are clicking on this button, it will redirect to that new instant form. Okay. Yeah, click me. Yes. Exuding client side programming, then it will redirect to server side programming and uh, previous page. It is came to new instant form or not? Tell me, guys. Like this, we will redirect the button. Like this, we will redirect the button. Okay, I will also copy this uh, logic. Note that. Next question. 
uh, here I'm writing one question uh, related to uh, this one. How to redirect UI action to current page? Okay, how to um, how to redirect? How to redirect UI action to current page? Current page. So, what is the syntax for that? This one. Action. action dot set, set, set redirect. Current. Next. Okay, fine. We have seen this one. Perfect. Now, I'm saving it. Next. I want to stop uh, submission from server-side program, for example. I want to stop submission from server-side program. Okay. You can use current dot. You can use current to dot set up auto action current to dot set a b o r t action so then it will start server side executing form in server side okay got it yes or no it, it this will stop you the form submission i'm refreshing it i'm saving it you can come here and you can refresh here No, we redirect to instant page. This is not actual one. I'm closing it. I'm click going to new form. I'm clicking on click. So you can see it will start. It will execute the server side programming, but it will not submit the form. You can see. Wait. Invalid insert. Yes or no? Invalid insert means it is not submitted Absolutely. the form. It is not submitted the form. Yes. Got it, everyone. Okay, fine. I'm also copying this logic to not that. So in interviews, this question also will ask mostly. I will write how to stop from by setting about set about action. Yes. How to stop? We can say like this. By action submission. So we okay. This one. Set about action two. Okay. Set about action two. Next. Okay, fine. We have seen how to uh, use client side programming, only client side, only server side, both how to use. And we have seen. Now you can come here. For example, I want to make some condition here. I want to make some condition here. Guys, if it is a condition, it is always server side programming only. In the condition field, we will write always server side programming only. For example, you can say, now I want to display this button if it is a new form. Okay, I'm simply writing it. current dot is new record is new record. Okay, I'm simply saying like this current dot is new record. I'm saving it. And for example, I want to display this UI action only on form header button. For example, I don't want this. Okay, even I don't want in form context menu or form. So I'm removing down. I'm saving it. Now this button will show only in the form header button, header and bottom of the form. Now you can close this. Uh, you can you can come here and refresh here. Now you can see button is appearing in the form. Is it is appearing in the con context form? No, form field. No. Now you can click me. That will execute the style. Okay. If it is a new one, then only it will execute. I'm saying yes. Is click me button appearing here? Tell me. Is click me button appearing no, no. here? No. Why? Because no, no. of we made a condition. We made a condition. If it is new. Okay, got it, everyone. Yes or no? 
Yes, Sanji. Okay. Next. I want to execute both client side programming and server side programming. I will try to write one example. Uh, wait, wait. We have one minute. Mm -hmm. I, I'm trying to sub, up, submit something, guys, here. Okay. Uh, wait. I'm, I'm closing this alert messages as of now. Okay. Here also I'm closing alert messages. And this set about action also I will remove. Maybe I will use this one action dot set redirect URL. Set redirect URL of current. Okay. For example, I want to set manager is current logged in user. In the server side programming, I, I'm setting current to dot current to dot u underscore manager equal to current dot u underscore manager equal to maybe gs start get user id i'm saying okay i'm trying to set manager uh, is my current current load in user is the manager okay for example i'm saving it now you can see whether it 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 it, it will set or not manager value for example it will definitely not set record not found you can see because uh we have to use the current dot update method also here for setting these values current dot update then it will work out okay and i'm also setting another values current dot u underscore phone equal to current dot events per phone equal to i'm setting some value nine six four zero three seven four six double one then it will set okay got it yes i'm saying Now you can come and refresh here. Yes. Now you can click click on click me button. Now the form is saved and phone number and manager value set uh, setting or not. Tell me guys. Phone number or ma phone number and manager value setting or not. It said phone number and manager value. Okay. Now you can see from the client side program how to do this same kind of thing from the client side program. Okay. Uh, the examples I will note down. Yes. And so maybe I'm trying to set gen score from that set value of uh, u1 underscore number one, something like that. u1 score number one, comma, 10. Okay. I'm trying to set these values gen score from that set value. Maybe you underscore email equal to email comma and g at the rate of gmail dot com and say okay. Got it everyone. So here we have another method g underscore form dot save. Got it everyone. I'm using this method here. I'm save so save. Now you can come here and you can see whether this setting all the values or not. Yes, now we are in new form and I'm clicking on click me. Yes, it is setting all the values or not. Tell me, you can see number one, 10 also set, email also set. Okay, yes or no? Yes. And you can see here, yeah, the server side code is not executed, you can say. Why? Because of here itself, we are saving the form. Here itself, we are saving the form. Okay, this how to, uh, how to set the field, uh, how to set the values by using the server side programming this and how to set the values by using client side programming is this example got it everyone copying it uh, any queries you have please let me know guys so we'll discuss you put the example low Model first man on client side on chase and can the server side code kadani. Yes, exactly. If you put on find a client and select chase day, it can the execute kada if condition. No, execute out. Yes, it will execute if you use GS of the submit syntax here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
మరి ఇప్పుడు ఇక్కడ అప్డేట్ అవ్వలేదు కదండి సార్ దెన్ ఐ విల్ టెల్ యూ నో నో వెయిట్ వెయిట్ ఐ విల్ ఐ విల్ షో యూ దట్ వన్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ ఐ యామ్ కాపీయింగ్ దిస్ కోడ్ హియర్ ఓకే ఐ యామ్ కీపింగ్ హియర్ ఓకే నౌ ఐ యామ్ ఐ యామ్ కమెంటింగ్ దిస్ ఫామ్ డాట్ సేవ్ ఓకే నౌ యు కెన్ సీ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ ఐ యామ్ సేవింగ్ ఇట్ so now update method i have used with the server side program okay now i am going to new record and you can see what happened click me what happened now tell me now what happened yeah anni both executed are not so previously why it is not updated server side programming because of in the client side programming itself we, we have written g underscore form dot save right that's why it is not executed this one server side one got it i will then i will also keep this uh, to you ante save ayaka mari update avval kadandi no no server side not like no 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 it's not like that okay i'm saving this code also so we have only one minute so please let me know i you have any queries so remaining we will continue tomorrow if we have any examples i will discuss uh, in tomorrow sections for your action otherwise we will start a new concept okay ante ippudu manam mall incident table lo manaki on chain mana stages untai kada anji sir yes exactly yes yes close task close incident like that yeah, yeah. yeah we will do we will do that in tomorrow class that example okay you can remind me in tomorrow class okay okay yeah fine thank you all thank you so much bye bye